That was real as it gets. Oh, how's it feel to be living your best life on this bitch? I'm not living my best life. I'm living my only life. Boy, what round are you knocking them out? Because I know all boxing fans watching this are going to be like, they dislike these guys and they're looking at you to, to knock them out. Um, I'm here to just have fun. You're there to knock them out. I'm here to just have fun and do what I do. No, no. Um, you know, uh, people talking about, oh, he's tall. People yeah. talking about, oh, he has a long reach. Go back and look at the Tony Pep fight. Uh, when I was fighting at 130, I fought a guy 6'3". Go look at my boxing skills in that fight. I'm gonna make it do what it do. That's what I do. I'm Floyd Mayweather. You going into this fight, are, are you looking to punish him to the body? Because he's a big guy. There's a lot of area there for, for you to go ahead and punish. I know with Conor McGregor, you came right to him. I'm thinking with him, you want to come to him as well, target the body? Well, like I said to the people down there, I'm in. I'm, ba I'm, ba I'm, I'm basically in a no-win situation. I mean, in a lot of people's eyes, which I don't mm -hmm. care. Oh, you were Brian? Yeah. No. <laughs> if, if I come out and knock the guy out in the first round, they're gonna, people going to say it wasn't worth it. If I, let him, if I carry him a few rounds, then they're going to be like, oh, man, this was, this was fake. This was, so you can't please everybody, so I'm going to go out there and do what I do best, have fun. But you can't let him go eight rounds, though, right? If I want to let him go eight rounds, I may let him go eight rounds. Yeah, man. <laughs> you talked about you wanted to focus on entertainment, is there anything in pro wrestling? Is that interesting? Is that interesting? Is that something that's spot I recommended before? Is that something that's... We don't know. We may do it again. We don't know what the future holds. But we know we're going to have some fun Sunday. Did it, what, how did it feel to, to actually get back into... I guess sort of camp and train again. Like, how's your body feeling like that? Oh, I didn't have no camp. No. I just go to the gym every once in a while. Yeah. Shake out every once in a while. You know, spar every once in a while. It was so crazy when they was letting it Um, I think somebody from my team told me that. Um, I think my assistant, she said everybody said the blood was photoshopped. <laughs> I was like, man, these people are crazy. It was good, though. Chloe, we've been talking about that. There's 100,000 of Bali for each pound load in total of the life. Do you think you might use that to the advantage of more than you I didn't know nothing about this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure probably my team or my lawyers was behind that. I'm the money man, so they probably want to get the extra dollars from me. We don't really worry about it, though. The size doesn't make a big difference. You don't really care about that. I don't, I, actually, I don't really care about the size. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really care if he weighed 190. I mean, I guess um, the Miami Boxing Commission said it had to be some type of, you know, I guess weight clause. But I didn't really care about the way he could weigh 240, 250. It didn't matter to me. The results gonna be the same. Do you think ultimately this is leading to a fight with his brother? Like, would you want something like that? Or that's something that doesn't even. He think, you think he can really beat you? I don't know if I'm gonna come here. Or I'm gonna come here. Right, right. Okay. Um. Far, would you say again? Do you think this is leading up to a fight with his little brother uh, because of what happened and just? It seems I don't. Like I don't it. worry about that. Yeah. I don't worry about that incident. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, back then I'm not gonna tolerate no disrespect. Untying my shoe, um, disrespect, disrespecting my children's mother, and um, and taking my hat off, keep touching me. It's, the thing is this, you know, reciprocate, treat me like you want to be treated. At the end of the day, that's all I say. Boy, is this a one-off? Are you? Are we going to see you fight somebody else in the future? We don't know. But I got to ask you, uh, Manny's fighting Errol Spence. I know you had Errol in camp to help you spar for Manny when you guys uh, fought. What do you make of that match of Manny at 42 fighting Errol? Uh, I wish him nothing but the best, both, both guys. But what do you what do you make of the fight? You you've been in there with Errol. I just you've I just, been in there with Manny. I just wish him no, both of the guys nothing but the best. Of course, I'm, I'm behind Errol Spence 100. percent I'm behind my people first always. So of course I want to see Errol Spence win. And um, actually I'm gonna call him and give him some pointers. Mm. What would you tell him? Uh, I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna reveal it to you. Then I'll be telling my strategy. Mm -hmm. We've seen Oscar and Canelo go back at it, back and forth, saying words of words. What, what do you uh, make of Oscar? Oscar and Canelo that? is not my business. Beat them both. Both was easy. <laughs> what do you make of Canelo when he said the the things that he said about uh, if he were to fight you now, he would knock you out? Uh, how does that come off to you? Um, if he, he feel how he want to feel, if that's how he feel. Let him feel that way. Yeah. Well, what's the strategy heading into the fight? No strategy. I'm Floyd Mayweather. I am the strategy. <laughs> <laughs>